Hello everyone. So here's what I'm trying to fix using the NOT64 emulator. You see that I've got a Wiimote and Nunchuck. Um, I know that there are many other options for, you know, controllers that you can use with the N64 emulator, but you know, I got done playing Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, and I really like using the Wiimote and Nunchuck. But the problem is that the control settings by default are not quite there. They're like 95% correct. You see here, A and B are set up for A on the Wiimote and plus, which is on the top of the Wiimote, whereas B is the trigger on the underside of the Wiimote. And I want B to be the trigger on the underside of the Wiimote. It's a bit tough to see it here. I mean, it should say A and B, um, and this top shoulder button should be represented by plus. So I'm going to leave it here for just a second so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I'll go back, load ROM, load from SD, Super Mario 64. Okay, play a game. Right, so now that I'm controlling Mario using the nunchuck and Wiimote, um, what happens when I press the trigger on the underside of the Wiimote is I get the camera changed, and I definitely don't want that. You know, I want it to control similar to Mario Galaxy, which if I remember correctly, the trigger under the Wiimote is what causes you to punch, stuff like this, right? So. I need that setting to stick. Now I'll go back by pressing 1 and 2 on the Wiimote simultaneously. I'll go back into Settings, Input, Configure Buttons, change this until it's plus. I just had to hit it once there. This one I'll loop through until I get back to B. Okay. Um, I can save it here, but you'll see that that doesn't matter. Now I go back to the game back, resume game. Okay, so now B is mapped to the underside of the Wiimote, the trigger on the right-hand side of the Wiimote, which is way more intuitive, very nice. You know, it seems like, almost seems like it was planned, really. Um, of course, the Wiimote wasn't around when this game came out. So, that's great, right? But now I want that setting to stick so that every time I log in here, I don't have to go do that. Well, you'll see now, if I quit, hit OK, now I reload Not64 as if I just, you know, reset the console or came back later. But look at my settings, input, configure buttons. Now these settings are back, right? So that's the problem, right? It won't keep these settings. And this is what I'm going to show you how to fix. It's not that big of a deal, right? Of course, but you, you know, it's also annoying. It's a little bit off-putting to have to reset this every time. So what needs to happen I'll just go from the main menu here. We go into settings, input. You see how it says auto load slot here, default? This is uh, apparently a handful of different slots where you can save various groups of settings. You know, let's, let's just imagine I only want to change the controller settings. Maybe me and my brother have different controller outputs that we want. So I claim slot one as the default slot to be loaded. And then I'll change my button configuration to plus and here I've got to loop all the way around again to B. Okay, here it is again. That's how I want it. Now if I hit save, save current buttons to slot one. You can kind of see it, yeah? So now that's been saved to slot one. Go back. Auto load slot is slot one. So that means when the device, uh, when I load not 64, it will auto load slot one. I'm still not done though. You need to go to general and save settings to the SD card. That means save all the settings that we've just changed. They haven't been saved yet until I hit save settings SD card. And so it lags here for a moment while it saves. Okay, so now it's really been done. I'll even quit, okay. Load not 64 again. There are my devices, go to settings, input, configure buttons, boom, see? Now this has stuck. So once again, what I had to do is in this menu, I select a slot, not the default one, but one, two, three, or four, whatever is here. Then I changed my button configurations and then I saved it to slot one. Then I go back out to general. Um, maybe I could have done it here too. Good grief. Did it freeze? No, 
save configuration to SD. Maybe it could also have been done here. Anyway, I know this works, so I hit save once again in SD. And so now it has actually kept all of these settings. So now that I'm back in the game, I can resume yeah. playing with, yeah. Yeah. you know, the trigger on the underside of the Wiimote yeah. being yeah. a replacement for B, yeah. which is very nice, yeah. as it should be. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you because I couldn't find this information anywhere. You know, it's probably in some forums and stuff. And I did look for a couple of hours, but I, I couldn't find it. Um, yeah, so, but check this out. I didn't know that you could do this. If you're, I think if you're crouching, crawling like this and you press B, look at this. I did not know that Mario had this move. I, I played this game for the first time last summer and I only just now figured out that you could do this. So that explains a hell of a lot about his move set in uh, Super Smash Brothers. Hey, like it's the same move. It's the same move as what he has in Super Smash Brothers, which I didn't know it was already in this game. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have for you. I just wanted to show you how to fix that setting. Thanks for watching.